Hey guys, it's Sevi and I'm going to be telling you why I am not pulling for Vendi. This Genshin Impact 1.4. So disclaimer, these reasons may not apply to you. Every account is built differently. Everyone plays Genshin Impact differently, kind of. So you know, these are just my personal opinions. These are specialized for my account. So reason number one is that I am in my late game of Genshin Impact. I'm AR53. The thing about the late game of Genshin Impact is that the content there, which means like Spiral Abyss and then the incoming new releases that they're having with the bosses and all that, what's more important there for me are things like shields, lowering resistances, and proccing elemental reactions. Things like Venti's crowd control, which is really his biggest asset, become less and less relevant by the end game. And if you take a look at the recent content and bosses that they're releasing, things like the Primo Geo Bishop and the other Geo Bishops and the upcoming Abyss Herald, these are big bosses that are hard to kill and Venti's crowd control does not really give an overall advantage over them. Right now, the biggest reason I would have for pulling him is so that I can 3-star Spiral Abyss Floor 11 Chamber 2, but that coupled with my incoming points for me is not a big enough reason for me to pull him. Reason number two is that I've already built my account. Like I said, those other important things like shields, elemental reactions, and lowering resistances, I have characters who can do most of those things already, so I already get most of that utility from them. And I've been playing since 1.1, so I've essentially learned how to go the entire game without Venti. And even though I've already built my account and all my characters, I admittedly still need to put more effort into building them instead of pulling for another character that I will have to spend more resources on. I usually like to pull for new characters, like I really like building the characters, it's one of my favorite aspects of the game, but I've reached a point where I kind of have a lot, I'm not wanting any more characters, so yeah. Reason number three is that I already have my character and team comps and frankly I don't really need Venti to take up another party slot. I think I've already solidified my team comps and I still have more and more to explore. Um, but having said that, the current team comps I have, they don't require a Venti. For example, I already have Sucrose and while she, her crowd control isn't as good as Venti's, she can do other stuff like elemental absorption and EM stacking which like I said is very important with elemental reactions which I like in late game. Reason number four is that I'm not simping for him and by that I mean when it came to Zhongli and Ganyu I was like so attracted to their character design, their story, their abilities and all that that I just felt like I had to get him. Like I simp for them so hard. Um, that's not the case with me and Venti. Having said that I think that simping for a character is a totally valid idea to want to pull them. You know, Genshin Impact is meant to be a game that people enjoy, and if having that character is just going to be more joy for you, then why not, right? Just as long as your wallet can take it or something. So just so that the Venti havers and the Venti future havers won't feel left out, here are some great reasons why you should pull for him. Number one is that you're still in early and mid game. Even though Venti becomes kind of less relevant in late game, if you're in early and mid or end mid game, you will probably have a great time with him. Especially if you started playing like 1.2 and onwards or if you're still below AR45, you know, that kind of thing, then Venti will be super great for your account. Reason number two is that you have a lot of resources saved up for him or you've pre-farmed for him or frankly you just don't mind that you're going to have to farm for him. Maybe you're playing the game casually, you know that things are going to take time and you're totally okay with that, like you're not rushing to have the best team possible. Number three is that you truly believe your team comps need him, especially over any other character that might come out soon. And reason number four is that you're a venti simp. Like I said earlier, if you really love his character, if he's your comfort character, if he's like your pixel bestie or something, then why not? Just go for it. Just try not to break your bank or anything while you're at it. So basically those are the reasons why I'm not pulling for Venti and a little bit on why maybe you would pull for Venti. If you're going to pull for Venti, I wish you all the luck in the world. I will manifest for you. I will manifest that you will be a Venti haver. And yeah, enjoy Genshin Impact 1.4 guys. I'll see you around soon.